This is a build video for the deck structures and the bowsprit of the brig from the pirate ship series. In the last video we talked about building the rat lines. Today I will present the deck structure options and build the bowsprit section in detail. Let's have a look at the different pieces to add details to your deck. For better visibility I'm using this deck stage piece I made. Here we have grates which are mounted on stronger cardboard, about 1mm. You can use them as needed or glue them in place and the height will add to the surface detail of the deck. This is a hatch opening leading stairs down into the ship's hull under deck. This piece I made for a helm assembly and I'm just using it here as a plain detail thing. Here are a couple of helm or steering wheel versions starting with a simple single one. Here I have combined two with the ground plate. The idea with this is that the rope is connected to the rudder going around here and then leading down into the hull. Here we have a binnacle to hold the compass and other important things needed at the helm. Combine it with this section, which is also showing a sextant. This is a capstan. Bars would be inserted and the crew would turn this around to move the anchor up. These are bilge pumps used to pump water from the lowest deck back into the ocean. And finally we have a windlass here, basically the same as the capstan but wrapping the anchor rope horizontally. Again the black holes are where beams would be inserted to better move the axle. Next we are going to build the bowsprit mast. This is the second page from the mast file with the bowsprit extending cuts layer active. It's a good idea to strengthen some parts, also from the deck structures by either mounting them onto cardboard or gluing a couple of layers of regular paper like I am doing here. I use a couple of heavy books to help this dry flat. I am going to focus on the section that will hold the bowsprit mast, the one extending in front of the ship.
you need to cut out the black hole in the front part where the mast will be inserted. I leave this hole so I can rest the mast against it. Before we continue here, I'm going to assemble the mast. The outer textured parts will be cut on all three cut lines. The inner mast only needs to be cut here in the middle. Complete the mast parts as shown in detail in the mast video. Here I have the mast parts finished and it's ready to be glued together. For a detailed explanation, refer to the mast video. Let the white glue dry thoroughly before you continue. Here I have cut out the triangle openings on the caps, these rectangular parts, so we can glue the mask together. It's a good idea to hide the glue seam on the underside of the mast, so cut your triangles accordingly. If you have problems inserting a part, just trim the white section a bit so it fits. Don't worry about the white glue blobs visible now, they will dry transparent. Now we can glue the two sections together.
To help this section dry flat, I again use a ruler and a heavy object. Now we continue with the mast tool part. Check the fit of the mast in the opening. If it's too small, you need to cut it a bit larger or just use a piece of wood. I have a chopstick that I can use to press the opening a bit wider. These will be the sides of the mass two parts. As usual, cut out all the parts and color the edges before you do the final glue stage. Glue the front part first onto the bottom. Then the sides. And finally close the mask too with the back part. Now that the mast shoe has dried, we need to make space for the mast in the hull. I use these scissors to make the opening. Check the fit and once you're happy, Color the new cut edges. Here I have forgotten to cut the bottom part to the right size. Now you can glue the mask shoe in place on deck. I will do it now, but it's a good idea to check how the front sails will fit before you glue this on.
I realized I have placed the seam of the bowsprit mast wrong. It's visible now. In case this happens and you want it hidden, just print the mast page again on thin paper and glue rub just the outside textured part around correctly. This is one half of the bow extension part assembled. So you will have an idea where we are going now. This will go against the side of the hull in the front, extending the keel forward. And this is an optional part I have seen on some ships, it's some kind of reinforcement. The only thing to mention here is that you don't need to score all the fold lines shown here. Only do the big horizontal folds I show you. These two parts will form the core around which we glue the textured parts. I'm going to cut out the wood area outside of the metal rails here. If you want, you can cut out all the wood fillings for an even better look. Align this part at the forward edge. The space that remains at the back will be filled with the existing keel from the ship's hull we have. The optional reinforcement part gets doubled up.
Now that we got both sides done, we can glue it onto the hull. I glue the keel area on first, so that I have room to align the section forward before gluing the side strips on. Now we can glue the side tabs onto the hull. For these parts, if you want to use that option, I cut the black ends off for a better look before I glue them onto the hull. After all has dried, I noticed that I have a little bulge on this side here, and I don't like it. To solve this problem, I've prepared the side part again, and will cut off the connection and glue the new part over in a better position. Don't be shy to fix stuff you don't like. Although you might notice it every time you see the model, others very likely will not even see it. For comparison, this is the advanced build where I have cut out more details. This concludes building the bow split section of the brig. Join me next time when we add the sails to the ship. If you have questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment. I hope you'd enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.